Hey everybody, what's up? It's Nick here, and in today's video I'm going to show you guys how you can go ahead and take your Nintendo 64 emulator and install it on a USB flash drive so you can go ahead and play it on any other computer that you want to. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be installing the emulator Project 64 onto a USB flash drive so we can go ahead and play Nintendo 64 ROMs on any other computer that we want to. So the backstory behind this basically is today in my first period class my friend John walks up to me and asks me if I want to play Mario Kart because we've all finished our work and our teacher lets us play games if we finished our work. And so he asked me to play Mario Kart, and I'm like, fuck yeah, I'll go play Mario Kart. So uh, he t tells me to go get my keyboard. I go get my keyboard, and it's me, my friend Justin, John, and Chris. And we all hook up four different keyboards to one computer, and then we start playing Mario Kart from a Nintendo 64 emulator. And he brought it in on his flash drive, because we're not allowed to install this kind of stuff on the computers at school. So, anyway, I thought this was really cool, and I thought, I want to do this. I want to have my own games on it, so just in case he's not there, I can still play Mario Kart. And I thought, this is cool, I thought I'd show you guys. Now, just a warning, if anything bad happens to you, blah, 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 it's not my fault, I'm simply telling you how to do it. So, anyway, uh, I'm going to show you how to install the Project 64 emulator onto your USB flash drive. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to go to the emulatorzone.com, which is emulator-zone.com. I'll post the link in the video's description. You want to go over here to where it says emulator and click on Nintendo 64. Then go ahead and uh, scroll down and click on Project 64. Now you can do this with any emulator, emulator that you want to, whether it be Game Boy, SNES, DS, Wii, anything you want to. I'm using Project 64 because I like Mario Kart 64. And just go ahead and click down here and download Project 64. And however, I already have it downloaded. As you can see here, here is the executable file for it. Now here's something that I figured out. I already recorded this video once, but I had to stop through it because I figured out that it would not let me install it on the flash drive if I already had the program installed on my computer. So if you already have Project 64 installed on your computer, uninstall it from your computer and go ahead and install it on the flash drive after you have removed it from your computer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and launch up the executable and click on run. And then it's going to go ahead and prepare to install, blah, blah, blah. And then I'm going to go ahead and click on next. And it will come up to something like this that says destination folder. Now as you can see here, it says install project 64 to C program files project 64. Now that is if you want to install it on your computer. I don't want to install it on my computer. I want to install it on my flash drive. So I'm going to click on change. And then here where I say look in, click and go to US disk. Now my, U my USB drive is US disk G which uh, just let me go ahead and show you. As you can see here, if I go to my computer, right here, US Disk G is my flash drive. As you can see, I have install files for different programs I install, and then I have my logo, because I always have to keep my logo right over here. By the way, this is a new logo. Tell me what you guys like of the design on it. So anyway, as you can see here, my USB drive is computer US Disk G. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over here and I'm going to select US Disk G, and then I'm going to click OK. And then as you can see here under the destination folder, it will say install to G. But however, I forgot to do something. So as you can see here, here's my install files folder. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to create a new folder in here, and I'm going to call it N, hold on, N64. And I'm going to go ahead and open N64, click OK. And now it'll say install to G N64. So I'm going to click on next and install. And then it's going to go ahead and it's going to install Project 64 onto my flash drive at that exact destination that I showed you. So this could take some time. I think I'm going to go ahead and uh, cut this part out of the video just to save some time for you guys. So uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, come back after this is done. Okay guys, and so now we're done. As you can see here, the install wizard has completed, and as you can see, we can choose to launch it up if we want to, but I don't want to watch launch it. I can click finish, and then once that's done, let's just go back to my flash drive. So I'm going to go to my computer, I'm going to go to USD G, and as you can see here, I have a folder that says N64, and if we open up that folder, as you notice, we have all the different files for Project 64, and as you can see here, project64.exe is the application, so that's the actual program. So let me just go ahead and launch that up to make sure it works, Project 64, and click English, that's perfectly fine with me, and then here is the program, and we can go ahead and open ROMs from here. So the next step is to get ROMs. So we have the N64 folder, which holds the N64 emulator. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new folder and call it 
ROMs, not ROM, ROMs. If you guys don't know what ROMs are, ROMs are basically the game files for emulators. And so if you guys need a whole video explaining to you guys what emulators are and how to do that, leave that in the comment section below and I will be more than happy to make it. But as you guys can see here on my desktop, I have a folder called ROMs, and if we load it up, I have three different ROMs in it. I have The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask, Ocarina of Time, and Mario Kart 64, which are all my favorite Nintendo 64 games. So, what, where I went ahead and downloaded them was I went ahead and lurked on a website called Dope ROMs. You can go and go to DopeROMs.com and just go here and search for any kind of game you want to. And uh, don't fret, if Mario Kart or any game you want isn't on there, just go ahead and search. I'm going to search for Mario Kart... 64 ROM and uh, here's the first link and it will basically bring you up to a download for the Mario Kart 64 ROM. You can go ahead and find these websites all over the internet. They're really easy to find. I'll post a link to dope ROMs in the video's description. But basically as you can see I have all of these different ROMs here. They'll come in zip files so if I go ahead and open up one of the zip files for you as you notice they'll come with the ROM itself and most of them will maybe come with a readme or two. I suggest reading the readme if you guys have any questions about this. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and take that ROMs folder and I'm going to copy it to my uh, USB drive. Let me just give it this empty ROMs folder. I'm going to paste it to my USB drive. And so now it's in there in the USB drive. And so now I have all my ROMs in there. So basically all I have to do to play these games now is I have to take this flash drive with me anywhere I want to. And I go ahead and launch up Nintendo 64 from the Project 64. I go to File, Open ROM. And then I go ahead and select something like, let's say, Mario Kart. And then it will start the emulation. And we will play. Now it might be a little slow, being the fact that it's running off of a flash drive. It might be a little fast for me because this is an 8 gigabyte flash drive, but it'll work for you if you have any other kind of flash drive. And so anyway, that is pretty much it. That's how you can go ahead and install ROMs and emulators on your flash drive. Now if you guys are wondering and having any problems installing Project 54 on your computer, if you have this on your flash drive, because remember in the beginning of the tutorial I said you can't have this on your computer to install it. If you're having trouble doing it on your computer, just remove the USB drive to install the program on your computer because uh, if you have the USB drive in, it will say it's already installed. So pretty much if you're having any problems with that, that's probably the reason why. So anyway, that's it for the video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys have any questions or concerns, I'll try to answer them the best I can in the comment section below. And if you guys want a video explaining what emulators are, how to get them, how to play games on your computer, uh, feel free to leave comments about that in the description below. I'd be happy to make that for my next tutorial. So thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.